All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Bring You Division video. What if I guess today, in my opinion, is a pretty important and useful spreadsheet for new and returning players coming to the Division 2. Now I am saying for new and returning players because I do understand if you are a veteran, most likely you know this information already, most likely you already know kind of what brand sets to use for specific builds, if it's a damage build, if it's a skill power build and stuff like that. But if you are a new player or a returning player and you haven't played the game in many, many months, most of the brand sets actually got changed in gear 2.0, so it might be a little bit overwhelming knowing what's actually in the game, how many brand sets there are, what they do, um, and which ones are actually worth using, um, again, for, for new players or people that haven't really played the game in a very long time. So I wanted to make this video. We actually received a really nice spreadsheet from Reddit. I will have the original post in the description. Go show it some love, but a very nice spreadsheet of all the brand sets in the game and their talents. So... This, once again, will give you a visual kind of representation of the brand sets that are available in the game, and I will also kind of go over them and tell you which ones I would recommend kind of using in the game. If it's a one piece of this, maybe a two piece of this, or maybe this one's just completely trash and don't use it at all. Don't even, you know, if you get it, just disregard it. Uh, you know, obviously, if it's bad, if it has some good talents, you can extract it. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. Alright, so in total, there's actually 20 brand sets in the game, that is not including the gear sets that are also in the game. And all these brand sets are pretty good, in my opinion, with these new changes. Some of them kind of got dumbed down in gear 2.0, but the majority of them are actually worth using. E even if it's a one piece, it is still worth using, in my opinion. So, uh, the first one I do want to go over is the 511 Tactical brand set. For the one piece, you will get 10% health, two piece, you get, you're getting 15% incoming repairs. And for the three piece, you're getting a 10% hazard protection. Now for this brand set, right off the bat, the only thing I would recommend using this for is the one piece for the extra health. If you're making something like a clutch build, or maybe if you just want a little bit more health on your character, using the one piece for this is the is the best. Incoming repairs of 15%, not really worth it. You can get that from a majority of other kind of ways in the game. And hazard protection, 10%, really not worth using it once again for a complete three piece. Uh, moving down, we have the Douglas and Harding brand set. This one actually got changed a lot in Gear 2.0. In my opinion, it got dumped down and it's pretty bad now. So for the one piece, you're getting 20% pistol damage. You're also getting 10% stability for the two piece and 10% accuracy. This one's okay, in my opinion, if you want to use a pistol build. Besides that, don't really use it. Um, it's not really worth the stability. It's not really worth the accuracy. So you can get that by having attachments on your weapon or you can get that once again from uh, another kind of source in your build. Uh, moving down, we have the Hana Yu Corporation. Uh, for the one piece, you're getting 10% skill haste. For the two piece, you're getting 10% skill damage. And for the three piece, you're getting 5% weapon damage. This one's actually okay. It really depends what kind of build you're making. If you're making a kind of skill power build for like Seeker Mines or, or just overall kind of a more utility focused build, this one's actually okay. It will give you skill haste, skill damage. I would probably recommend only using a two-piece for this one, just for the skill haste and skill damage. The 5% weapon damage, it's hardly noticeable, and especially with how, you know, how much damage you can get now from different sources, once again, if it's from mods, if it's from your talents on your weapons or your gear pieces, the 5% and using actually the, the three-piece brand set, in my opinion, is not really worth it. Uh, moving down, we have the Richter brand set, and this one will give you 15% incoming repairs, 10% of explosive resistance, and 15% repair skills. Once again, this is one of those brand sets that, personally, I don't think I will ever use. For you, it might depend on the build you're making, or you're trying to accomplish something for PvP or PvE. But, for my side, I don't really think this brand set is actually worth using for anything now in the game. Maybe for the explosive resistance, if you're doing something... But besides that, not really worth it at all. Up next, we have the Aeraldi Holdings brand set. And for the one piece, you're getting a 10% damage increase for your marksman rifles. Two piece, you get 10% headshot damage. And three piece, you get 5% damage to armor. This one's actually very, very good. And I would highly recommend you use this if you are making a marksman rifle build. If you're not using something like the Aces and Eights uh, gear set, then this is something, um, again, you want to have on your build. Especially for the marksman rifle damage, the headshot damage. The three piece, the 5% damage to armor, you don't really have to use that. It is, you know, kind of good to have 5% damage to armor, 
but again just a two piece of this will do just fine especially if you're going for headshots while using a uh, marksman rifle so really good brand said highly recommend you use this one for your build uh, next up we have the Fenris group a b for this brand said you get 10 percent also rifle damage 10 percent reload speed and 10 percent stability in my opinion, I would just recommend using this as a one piece for the sorry for damage, the reload speed, stability, not really worth. You can use something else and get better benefits from that. Overall, just use this as a one piece for the AR damage on your builds. Moving down, we have the Murakami Industries. So for the one piece, you get 20% skill duration, 15% uh, repair skills for the two piece, and 10% skill damage for the three piece. This one, once again, is very, very good for using a kind of skill power build if you are making maybe a healer build or something like that the skill duration will help you out also the repair skills um, is pretty nice as well and obviously if you are going for skill damage using that three piece for this is going to benefit you a lot next up we have the stockpile brand set and this one is a must if you are making a smg build the one piece will give you 10 percent smg damage two piece will give you a 15 percent critical hit damage and the three piece will give you 10% critical hit chance. Again, if you're using a SMG for PvP, for PvE, this is something you wanna definitely rock a three piece of, three piece tackle of, then you can use something else for a little bit more crit chance or critical hit damage. But overall, this brand set is very, very good to use with your SMG builds. Next up, we have the Alp Summit Armament. Uh, for the one piece, you get 15% repair skills, 20% skill duration, and 10% skill haste for the three piece. Again, this is something for, in my opinion, kind of healer builds or like kind of support player builds. Um, if you're focusing on a lot of utility, this is a brand set you definitely want to be uh, rocking. I would also recommend using maybe a three piece of this because the skill haste, skill duration of 20%, which will help you out, um, especially for those harder difficulty PvE missions like uh, heroic or even legendaries. You want your skills to be as, as up as long as possible and get them back as quick as possible so it can uh, help you stay alive in in those scenarios moving down we have Gilligard. so for the one piece you get a five percent total armor for the two piece you get ten percent health and you also get a one percent armor regeneration now this gear set or i should say this brand set was probably one of the best ones in the division before now i don't really think it's really worth using there's so many other better options in my opinion that you can use even as a one piece the five percent total armor is is good if you are going for a tank build or a more kind of tanky build but the way the game is going right now you just want to focus on damage and just weapon damage critical hit chance critical hit damage so if you are going for a tanky build yes use something like a one piece of guild guard for the total armor but if you are just using a kind of dps build don't really worry about this use something else use something for crit chance critical hit damage um, and you know, besides that, I, I don't really think using a three piece guild guard is worth at all in gear 2.0. Moving down, we have Overlord Armament 10% rifle damage, 10% accuracy, and 10% weapon handling. To be honest, this is something again I would recommend using a two piece of maybe for the rifle damage and accuracy. If you are on PC, you can get away with using just a one piece for the rifle damage. If you're on consoles, something like the two piece for accuracy will obviously help you out with better accuracy. Up next, we have the Wyvern brand set, and this used to be one of the best DPS brand sets back in TU7. In TU8, it actually got turned into a skill power oriented brand set, but overall, it's pretty good. 10% uh, skill damage for the one piece, 10% uh, status effects for the two piece, and 20% skill duration for the three piece. Moving over, we have the Badger Tough, and this once again is for the shotgun damage of 10% for the one piece, for the two piece, you get 5% total armor, and the three piece will give you 10% armor on kill. This is the same thing as with Fenris. I would recommend using this only a one piece for the shotgun damage, but if you are doing something like a kind of tanky or maybe a hybrid shotgun build for PvP or PvE, and you want the total armor, you want the armor on kill, you can get away with using a three piece, but overall, if you're just looking for straight damage for shotguns, just use uh, the one piece and pair this up with something else that's in the game so overall not a bad brand set but not something that will be uh highly used in my opinion in the future the golden gear ltd is next on the list and for the one piece you're getting a 10 percent status effects two piece you're getting a one percent armor regeneration and the three piece you're getting a five percent total armor 
this is one of those brand sets that I would not recommend kind of using right now, at least in this, I guess you could say meta, because everything's about damage, critical hit chance, weapon damage, critical hit damage, so something like this, using something like this will just put you in a disadvantage. Maybe in the future if things change and you want to stack total armor or you want armor regeneration, this brand set will be good, but for now, this is something I, uh, I would recommend kind of avoiding as of right now. Moving over, we have the Petra Defense. This is for the 10% LMG damage. You're also getting a 10% weapon handling for the 2-piece and 20% ammo capacity for the 3-piece. Once again, this is something I would recommend using just a 1-piece for the LMG damage. Besides that, you don't really want to run a 2 or 3-piece of Petrov, in my opinion. Uh, moving over, we have the Yahal gear. I think that's how you say it. So the 1-piece the one will give you 10% hazard protection, 2-piece will give you 5% weapon damage, the 3-piece will give you 40% pulse resistance. It's the same thing as the Golan gear. This is something I would recommend kind of not using as of right now. The way the meta is for PvP and PvE, it's just damage. So uh, this, once again, will put you in a disadvantage if you're using it. Moving down, we have the China Lights Industries. You get 15% explosive damage, you also get a 10% skill haste and a 10% status effects for uh, the bonuses. This is again good if you are using like a merciless, you could use a one piece of this and get yourself some explosive damage. Or maybe if you want to pair that up with a kind of utility build, you get yourself some skill haste or status effects and you could be, you know, doing some PvE missions as, as that. In my opinion, just a two piece of this will be fine, the status effects, not really something that's too useful, uh, so if you want to use China Lights, just use the two-piece of Explosive Damage and Skill Haze. Uh, moving over, we have the Grupo Sambra SA. So the one-piece will give you 15% critical hit damage, then you get 15% Explosive Damage and 10% Headshot Damage. This is also really good for a Merciless kind of build, a Merciless hybrid uh, build like that for PvE, because you're getting critical hit damage, you're also getting Headshot Damage, but it also has that, that explosive damage, so um, if you're using a Merciless, you have you should just use a two-piece of this for the crit damage and explosive damage, but if you are pairing that up with a maybe, you know, SMG or something like that, another backup weapon, um, you could just use a three-piece, it, it's not that bad. Up next, we have the best brand set, in my opinion, in the game right now, and that is Providence Defense. This is something you should be 100% using if you are going for straight DPS for PvP or PvE. Especially if you're just making an entire kind of gold build or yellow build, you're not really using any gear sets like Striker or Negotiator's Dilemma or anything like that. If you're just using straight yellows, the Providence Defense is... A, a three-piece of this is a must on your build, again, if you are going for damage. So, the one-piece will give you 10% headshot damage, two-piece will give you 10% uh, critical hit chance, and the three-piece will give you 15% critical hit damage. So again, no matter what weapon you're using, um, if it's a AR, you want to pair this up with Fenris, if it's a LMG, pair this up with Petrov, and just for damage, this is a kind of a, a 10 out of 10 brand set as of right now in the game. And last but not least, we have the Seska Varoba brand set, and for the one piece you're getting 10% crit chance, you're also getting 10% hazard protection and 10% health for the 2 and 3 piece. Um, so yeah, these are pretty much all the brand sets in the game. I know, again, if someone's new or, or kind of returning to the game after many, many months, it might be overwhelming to see all the different brand sets, how they changed, and, and pretty much just all of them in, in one kind of scenario. But hopefully, this video does clear up some information for you guys and kind of makes it a little bit easier to understand of what the brand sets are, what you should be looking for, and which ones are actually worth kind of using in the game as of right now. So... A really quick example, if you are just going for a straight DPS build, a straight kind of damage build, something like a 3-piece Providence, a 1-piece Seska for the crit chance, and also something maybe like uh, Sokolov if you want to use a SMG, a 2-piece will give you a very, very high kind of crit damage, crit chance, SMG build, and uh, you're pretty much going to melt in PvP and PvE. Obviously, there's other combinations you can do, but overall for just damage for SMGs, something like that is, is what you want to be using. So once again, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.